I am so tired of looking like I am about to go rob a bank. I get very much bank robber lately, like put the money in the bag very quickly. It's giving you're going to get followed around the store. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because if you follow me around the store, I'm going to turn around and start following you. Okay? We're going to follow each other. And speaking of followers, I realize that I do have a lot of new followers. I'm not a person that really counts it or tracking it. It just is what it is. I love YouTube, so I just post. And whoever gravitates towards me, great. But it's not like I'm, I'm not a person that's like moved by how many subscribers are I have. Because it really means it doesn't, I'm not validated by a number. Um, but when I do see an influx, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm probably going to have to reintroduce myself. My name is Valencia. I have four children. I live in the state of Florida. I've been sharing my life for quite some time on YouTube. A lot of you guys met me when I was married. I'm not anymore. Um, I've shared my process of the ups and downs, single motherhood, starting a new career. And yeah, just, just mom life, which is why the channel is called Valencia's Life. Y'all, the sun is tearing me up, so I'm going to try and make this video, like, <laughs> really fast, but not fast, but fast and informative. I'm going to be adding some fillers in if I forget to say something, because a lot of it is, like, medical jargon. And I am, I'm not a healthcare practitioner, you know what I'm saying? I got my degree from Google, like many of us. Um, but I'm going to try and be as informative as possible. And then I'll make another video separately about the signs and the kind of the things that I notice now that could maybe you could relate to. Hopefully not. So yeah, it's glaucoma. I still don't know a lot about it. I'm learning. I'm in the learning process. You say glaucoma and people are like, oh, it's, you have diabetes. No. Did you know that glaucoma is like a symptom? Um, there are a lot of things that can induce glaucoma. not just diabetes the thing about glaucoma is there's no cure there's no cure you would think with all the technology and all these ai stuff coming out in the world the newest iphone that we have we would have something to treat these eyes but there's no cure it's just early detection creates early prevention which creates the space for the least amount of vision lost as possible. In my case, it was caught too late. And there are different stages of glaucoma. Stages one through five. I'll show you guys what each stage means. Right now, I am in stage four. Like I said, everything was caught just way too late. And eh, the way that I found out was just so crazy, to say the least. I knew something was going on with me, but I didn't know it was that bad. And I know you're saying, how do you not know? Glaucoma is known as the silent thief of sight. Your eyes have a way of adjusting. When one isn't working, one will work over time. So you don't realize it. it's a slow thing. My glaucoma was caught just way too late, you guys. 
even though I was <laughs> under the care of a ophthalmologist, the doctor just wasn't listening to me. It was, oh, you're too young for that. Let's wait. And that waiting time and that waiting period is the time that just gobbled up my vision because glaucoma I have two separate eye conditions <laughs> which are hereditary and they all have to deal with one is inflammation and one is pressure and so with those two things combined oh, I am Captain Planet I'm sorry my brain that that's just how God made me I'm sorry no but seriously with those two things combined it was just a setup for disaster and It cost not the thumbs up. Get it on. Dog, this daggone phone. It's the phone, y'all. The update. But anyway, thumbs up this video. Maybe God know I need some moral support right now. Thumbs up the video, y'all. This is this isn't this is not an easy conversation for me to have, you guys. Imagine going from having 2020 vision and you're gradually losing it every day. Every day your line of sight is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's kind of scary. You know what I mean? Some days I'm like, I go to sleep and I'm like, Lord, what am I going to be able, what will I be able to see tomorrow in three months, in a year? What will I be able to see? So yeah. Eh. But still right now, I'm sharing with you guys a symptom of what I've been going through, but I still don't have a proper diagnosis. Like I've been tested for all of the things that I showed you guys. I've been tested, screened, x-rays, CAT scans, blood work, more blood work. You know what I mean? Like I've been tested so much. I feel like a lab rat and I'm thankful that nothing is showing up. But I'm also just like, how do I properly get this under control if my doctors don't know what to specifically treat? So they're having to treat my body as a whole unit as one specific thing which makes the line of treatment a lot more aggressive and now i'm on this injection which i definitely the injection is giving me like new life honestly but it's still not fixing the problem it's keeping things like at bay i'm trying to see if i missed anything else because i just feel like when you say glaucoma people don't understand that it's it's not like just one thing oh yeah it's just glaucoma no first of all it's not just glaucoma if somebody tells you they have glaucoma it's that's serious but then also it's a symptom so it's like well what's caught do you know what's causing it you know have they found a proper plan of treatment that's the secondary thing <laughs> so funny let's get my nails done and I was telling um, the nail lady because I had the whole patch on my eye and I didn't want any, you know, particular matter getting in my eye because I'm just fresh out of surgery, um, two weeks post-op. So I'm being super precautious, you know, wearing my little eye shield. And she was like, what's wrong with your eye? And I was like, uh, I kind of told her, I was like, I got glaucoma. She was like, oh, diabetes? I was like, no, no, girl. I was like, no, girl, no, girl, no, girl. Ah, baby, out. I'm not saying I, I want a diabetes, but kind of, I mean, I, I'll take some of those in, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I could lose a couple of pounds, just saying, baby. I wish it was something that was, I don't want to minimize diabetes and say an easy fix, but something that had a lot more medical research behind it, something that had medicine that was readily available, something that didn't cause me to get poked and prodded and, and go through such aggressive treatment, something that was... You know known that's the thing nobody wants to be ill or anything like that but i take an insulin injection you know what i'm saying <laughs> but as it's not diabetes i don't have diabetes high blood pressure it's hereditary and figuring it out i'm kind of on the right track because i have other specialists to get to a rheumatoid arthritis specialist which could cause maybe some type of 
strain on my spine or something like that and some other kind of spinal arthritis something that constricts the nerves which constricts the optic medical jargon but the way that the medical system is set up you have to wait just to get seen for these first i've been i've been waiting for these appointments waiting for these appointments you guys um so i'm just kind of like they go the thumbs up thing again baby child this phone got to take over spirit have your way lord have your way but you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm on to the next line of testing i'm gonna have to go through a lot of testing with that and i'm tired so right now it's just a waiting game i go to my appointments i go to at the moment two doctor's appointments a week at least if not two, I'm going to one to check on my eye pressure because glaucoma affects the pressure in your eye, which will take away your sight slowly. It's going to take away your peripheral vision um, and then work its way like down. It's going to start narrowing everything down into tunnel vision. So I have to keep it with my pressure. A normal pressure in a normal eye is like, I think my doctor said 13 to 20, something like that. Google it, shout out. Go, go ahead and get your little degree from online, baby. But mine gets so high like i think my highest was 56 in my left eye and 80 in my right eye and that's enough to go blind instantly if it is kept there for a long amount of time and like i said i was with a doctor who was like oh don't worry about it we'll see you next time we'll see you in 30 days and in those 30 days i mean if your eye pressure is up like that in a 30 day time span and you don't realize it because it's a silent thing you don't feel any pain it's painless I mean I had moments where I was like oh I had a headache and I you know but I thought I just have a headache you know I was having some floaters or whatever in my eye but I thought it was from the headache but my doctor never said if you're having these signs if this if you're seeing these things if your vision does this call me immediately never so you can see how important it is for me to weekly I go and I go to the doctor and I make sure that my eye pressure is under control because I can't afford for, for my eye pressure to even go above 15. They like to keep me below 15 in my eyes. So I go every week, every Monday. And if it seems like it's going to get higher, I'll go on Friday because I can't afford it. I'm at stage four. It is but for the grace of God that I am still seeing anything right now at this moment. Anyway, I definitely wanted to share that portion with you guys. I'm okay with sharing that portion with you guys. It's a part of my life. I can't walk around and pretend like, oh, you know, there's nothing going on or whatever. It's It would be noticeable. So it's just like, what is there to hide about that? And then when I go to these appointments, I, there's no way that I could hide like that portion at all. Um, I'm not hiding any other kind of diagnosis. I mean, if I wanted to, I mean, I, I could, but I don't have any solid diagnosis. Again, I don't. To wish that I had one is crazy. It's like you're wishing for the worst, but for the best outcome through it, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, when I find out, I'll let you I'll, I'll let you guys know because you know you guys are with you guys are here with me. I feel like I'm doing the best that I can. I mean, of course, I, I'm human. I'm not a robot. I have my days when I'm like, uh, but I have to pull myself out of it. And um, I feel like sharing with you guys because I'm a sharer helps me get through it a lot faster than just kind of coveting it all by myself i'm just ad adjusting you guys are gonna be seeing me adjust in life how am i gonna be able to work in real estate I, girl i'm getting that damn cni dog okay i'm getting the damn dog just letting you know <laughs> i'm getting my dog and i've got some other visual field tests that i have to do at my next appointment which should be exciting i will make a video again about the things that i noticed signs and symptoms that I recognize now that I didn't recognize before, especially when it comes to your eyes. And you, th these aren't replaceable, you know? Yeah, I would encourage you to get your eye exams 
even if you don't wear glasses. I was never a person that wore glasses, you guys. So I never even felt the need to go get an eye exam. What? I got 20-20 vision. I can see through the wall, child. Call me Superman. And now, I see more like a bat these days, you guys. I'm using sonar detections, okay? I'm clicking to get places. That's actually a real thing. Like, for real. Not even gonna... It's a real thing. So don't laugh at that one. That one's... Yeah. Anyway, um... I love you guys. And, uh... I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go inside and make some, um... Homemade lo mein for my kids. Some chicken lo mein. It's really not that hard, you guys. Life is only as hard as you make it. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.